Alright guys, well, it just turned into a warm steamy spring day here in hot Atlanta GA where I am uh, exploring the old Emory University campus. Good God almighty. I cannot remember the last time I was in Emory University. <laughs> what in the hell? Has, uh, has this place become. I see this pedestrian uh, bridge right here. A friend of mine's mother was hit and killed right along here trying to get across Clifton Road. Uh, that was the last mistake she ever made. I see they have built a pedestrian bridge Keep your ass from getting run over. But anyway, it is a Friday afternoon, April 26, 2024, somewhere around there. And uh, getting ready to get slammed into this Friday afternoon traffic. So anyway, I have just had the very, uh, very pleasant uh, two and a half hour visit with this buddy of mine who I have not seen in 42 years 42 years uh, while I have been traveling all around this planet and back again uh, he has been plugging along right here creating a very successful uh, physical therapy practice uh, for years and uh, so obviously he wanted to know what I had been up to for 42 years and uh, so what do you think uh, how many times did the word doomer how many times did the word collapse how many times did the words humpty dumpty come up in two and a half hours well I I think you know uh, the answer to every one of those questions. Uh, <laughs> good God, never left my mouth in two and a half years. So what we're coming up to here, guys, for those of you who are interested in my travel logs. So Tennessee Jet, if you're listening, what this is here, this is the CDC. This is it, yeah, the infamous uh, Center for Disease Control where it all happens right here uh, the CDC there's no telling what kind of uh, virus pathogens are floating around that damn evil looking building I remember when they built that building and uh yep the infamous Centers for Disease Control. Uh, grew up. Well, I'm about. Uh, I'm a little less than two miles from my house now. I uh, grew up with the CDC. I remember being down here, down this road here, when I was a kid. Late at night, in the the cockroaches. At least in my memory that uh, this, uh, I, 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 I'm talking, I, I, I'm talking two million cockroaches. Surely this memory has been perverted over the last uh, 55 years. But my memory of this was <clears throat> these cockroaches went from curb to curb late at night right outside the CDC and my uh, and my sister screaming in the car and and uh, my, my mother not wanting to run over the cockroaches and uh, anyway that's one of my strange childhood memories happened right there so the CDC has gotten a little bit bigger over the years there it is. That is what is happened there. Oh, Jesus. 
the old stomping grounds uh, better oh shit I really need to pay attention I guess where I'm going I'm very happy to see these uh, this many woods still here though telling me all right the kudzu that is the first kudzu I have seen in how long a, a plant that ate the south okay good lord all the memories can't see it that's the uh, Briarcliff Animal Hospital that was my first job baby Working at the Briarcliff Animal Hospital, shoveling dog shit for two dollars and sixty-five cents an hour. Uh, shoveling dog shit for two dollars and sixty-five cents an hour at the Briarcliff Animal Hospital, but uh, of course I was 15 years old and. How many of those women were, uh, the, these exotic 22-year-old women? Of course, I, I lost my virginity to Mary Ellen Rinaldi. Mary Ellen Rinaldi uh, from the Briarcliff Animal Clinic got the first shot at, uh, at, at, at Hambone Little Tail. She started me off, and let's see, then it's Claire Connell. I think died of breast cancer a few years ago and then of course uh, Mary Upton the 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 31 year old lesbian judge's daughter who I knocked up when I was well, I think I was 17 or 18 and I <laughs> knocked up the judge's daughter oh god I, I think it was pretty clear who daddy was on that one uh but anyway, that's when, uh, thank God, abortions were easy to find in Atlanta, Georgia, back in 1977. And that was when I made a mental note to get a vasectomy. <laughs> oh, Jesus. You know, it's, it's amazing. Uh, my buddy and I, we went on this two-mile hike through this, uh, this park, through this forest preserve, through Fernbank forest and uh oh fuck, that just happened to the phone oh shit now i don't have sancho what happened all right you're gonna have to get over right here sancho is sitting on the phone 250 feet take a left on the vista uh it, it, it's just unbelievable walking around uh, and seeing all these places say what comes back in me are, are, are the sexual memories that I uh, going through this uh, forest with my buddy and we were talking about all these girls that we used to uh, bring back in those woods and fuck back in those woods good lord the amount of uh, I guarantee you it's still going on. Look up Fernbank Forest or Fernbank Science Museum in Atlanta, Georgia. There, There is more. Uh, <laughs> oh, Lord. Some of the crazy times I had in Fernbank Forest with the girls. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Lord. With <laughs> uh, 23 years worth of memories and uh, all this old horn dog can think about is all of that beautiful young pussy that I used to have coming out of my ears when I was a young man <laughs> and here I am here I am driving around talking to all of my uh, imaginary friends so uh my buddy was saying uh, well give me some uh 
give me some more advance notice when you come through Atlanta again and uh, so we can uh, get the old gang together again uh, get the old gang together again for our 50 year reunion from when we were 15 unbelievable 50 years since I was uh, prowling around out here this is where uh, I remember in 1976 at the movie theater where uh, the first Star Wars was coming out and there were eight of us and we drew lots and I got the short end of the stick and I had to hold eight seats uh, for the first Star Wars in 1976 and somehow I managed to do that I don't know what this I can't even remember what this building is that they're destroying over here so I can't I can only imagine what's gonna go in what's gonna go in here good God Adina Avenue what in the hell La Vista Walk La Vista Walk is no longer walking. Uh, Jesus. Oh, I need to look for a damn liquor store is what I need to... Oh, boy. Oh, no. They tore down the Varsity Junior. Shit. They turned the Junior Varsity into a... The hot dog stand is now a goddamn self-storage building. They, man, how many late nights at the junior varsity trying to sober up for the ride home. Anywho, they say you can't go home again. Uh, so that the main difference is the traffic. If, if I had to pick the main difference, I moved out of here in 1983 while I came back, you know, to take care of my mother in 96 and 97 while she was dying of cancer. But other than that, uh, when I was dealing with that awful shit, uh, 1983. Uh, when I pulled out of this town, I uh, say thinking for good, and uh, and the difference is the traffic. It's unbelievable. Th this has been one red light. Uh, I w one fucking red light. H how many minutes have I been on this one red light for? Uh, cannot believe they never white into this road. I guess I'm glad they didn't. So, all right, I know there's got to be a million liquor stores around here. I thought that uh, name of that store was Get Vaxxed. I guess it's Get Waxed. So look at this, so it's 10 till 4. Thank God I'm going this way. This this is the traffic I'm I'm getting. See, I'm still going into town. It's 10 till 4 on a uh, Friday afternoon in Atlanta, Georgia. And so right now I'm going into town, but I will be uh, turning out of town here in a minute. start paying attention to my driving. Oh, Jesus. Look at goddamn. And that's uh, 85 going into town. Oh, Jesus. If that's I-85 into town. I'll be back in a few minutes with a screaming rant. I've got to figure out how to get on to... Uh, 
to Georgia 400 and I will be back with a screaming rant here in a minute.